Hey guys, welcome to the updated tutorial on how to connect to Xbox Live through your PC. Um, the one where you don't have to buy a Xbox wireless adapter which can run you 60 quid or however much it is in dollars or whatever, wherever you're from, whatever currency you use. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through this quickly. Um, it's pretty much the same as before, just a few different settings on Windows 7 and I just thought I'd make a new one, a much more updated one. So. As you can see, I've got my Xbox there. Um, I don't have any wireless adapters plugged in, as you can see. So what I have got is roughly a sort of. Let me just get my phone. Uh, a one and a half meter Ethernet cable that will run into the back of my PC inside the Ethernet port. I don't think. Yep. Then that runs. Obviously, um, let's turn that off. That runs into the back of my Xbox, like so. So you plug it all in, uh, leave your Xbox switched off for now, and what you want to do is come onto your PC. You want to go to Control Panel. Then you want to go to let me get this in here. Network and Internet. This is Windows 7, by the way, guys. The reason why I'm doing this is for Windows 7. It's slightly different. Um, so what you want to do then is go to network and sharing and it will bring you to this sort of overall view what you want to do is on the left here you'll see change adapter settings click that one, I don't know why it's called change adapter settings because all you're doing is looking at all your connections anyway so here you can see I have wireless network connection my range max wireless and USB adapter and here you'll see the local area connection it says the network cable is unplugged but it's obviously plugged in but just not switched on, that's all it's uh, basically saying. So if my camera would like to refocus. Hello. There we go. Anyway, so you've got the wireless adapter and you've got the low player connection. And just to show you, that's my wireless adapter there. Um, it's just a USB one. I'll just have to have it there because to get the signal. <laughs> so what you want to do is highlight them both right click bridge connections and then it will just say please wait while it bridges you've got an extra icon there that says network bridge just have to wait for a bit while it configures uh, reconnects with your wireless adapter to the router then it will say Brid network bridge uh, to the router might as well Craig for some reason um, and it'll still say it's unplugged. So at this point you can now then turn your Xbox on and on my other screen here I just have my uh, capture program so it's now booting up my Xbox and it shouldn't take too long but it should uh, sign in Any second now. There we go. So I have signed into Xbox Live, and you know, just to show you, I haven't plugged any wireless adapter in. Still got the old Ethernet cable running. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you found this useful for the updated version of Windows, Windows 7. And don't forget to subscribe.